Hello people, I'm Jacob and today we're gonna ride three horses through the desert together. How are we gonna do that? I'm going to let you in on all the decision making that went into these paintings and my thought process behind each piece. Make sure to watch until the end because I really want to know which one is your favorite. Okay, we're starting with my moving shadows in the desert painting. Here I wanted geometrical shapes, a bunch of rectangles. It's really psychedelic so the ground is kind of like moving and there's like round shapes like waves almost. And I was excited to create this contrast because I felt like it would kind of create a little little bit of friction in the viewer's eye. When it comes to the warm side of the skin of the horse, I've been experimenting with this style of mine. And here I kind of was like, what if I make it more like flames? And I really love the outcome of it. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Chinese patterns, which I've always really appreciated in their artwork. And then to cool it down a little bit, I didn't want to just use warm colors. So I made the other half of the horse blue. I started with a base layer first and then added shadow. And it's inspired by these Puma artworks, which make their skin look super silky and smooth. And I was like, I want that on my horse. And then to make it even more trippy, I decided to make the shadow moving, which inspired the title, Moving Shadows in the Desert. At the end, I just felt like it was lacking depth. So I added a little bit of darts in the background to tie it more together with the horse, which obviously has these huge black darts. And I also added a little bit of a light gradient in the sky and on the floor, even though there's so many different things happening in the painting, this really makes it stick together and work. Okay. We've got the Halo Lasso in Mexico painting, which is one of my favorite paintings that I've done in 2023. I really wanted a kind of cartoony animation type of background with the clouds and the great blue saturated sky because I wanted this painting to be bright and happy. And usually it's wise to start with the lightest color first and then work into your darks. But I really like to start with the dark color first when I do these cloud backgrounds because I kind of love to paint over them a little bit. I feel like it creates more depth. It's less time efficient, but I love the look of it. I've done a lot of paintings where all the colors are not like they are in real life at all. So with this one, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to challenge myself and draw more realistically while still having that kind of pop art effect. And looking at Japanese animated films like Ponyo was really helpful to create that effect because they do just that. They take realistic colors but make them pop. And because the background is so light, I had to do a dark horse so it doesn't all kind of just blend together. This painting also honored my time in Mexico where I met so many lovely people with white cowboy hats in the streets. So I wanted to put a halo over them in a non-cheesy way and I feel like that really worked well with this painting. And then I tied these purple ribbons around the horse just to show how elegant those animals are. <laughs> and I felt like it needed it a little bit more so I added these shapes that represent traditional patterns in the clothes that you see in Mexico. And as you can see I really like to get all the basic colors down first and then I go in with details and details. And here at the beginning I had no idea what it was really going to look like at the end. All of these shapes just happen as I go and as I look at the painting and I'm like, what does this need? And that's that one done. I really love it and I'm excited to do the same painting again. Big. History in the Making is the title of this painting where I really wanted to make some of my childhood dreams come true. The original idea behind it was all horses go to heaven. But as I was doing it, I felt like, nah, 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 nah. This is not about heaven. This is about like something rich, something very strong, something that you look at and you can really feel how your ancestors are guiding you on your journey through life. This one is really inspired by Native American cave carvings. All of the horses in the sky are sort of in the shapes of the drawings that they used to do on rock. And the landscape as well is very western Arizona, Utah. We're looking at the main motif horse from below to make it seem a lot stronger. And it's red, it's strong, it's on fire. We're adding a dramatic light to it. And now same thing goes for this painting. How do we make it pop? 
So we make the darks darker by using black and we make the light parts lighter by using an orange. And here you can kind of see me trying to work out how I would do the pattern in the horse. First I made it look one way and then I felt like it looked too childish. So the next day I went over it with a new pattern that again felt more psychedelic. I wanted a pattern that felt like a strong stream where you can see direction. Now we're cleaning up the background a little bit because it got a little bit dirty at the beginning. <laughs> and we're adding more and more detail. That's the thought process behind all of my paintings. I go in with the detail until I'm like, okay, it's polished. And that's how I decide when to stop, when I look at it and I'm like, it's detailed. <laughs> And I stop before I add too much detail that I feel like it's getting rid of the essence of the painting. And with that, our journey through the Wild West has come to an end. But if you don't want it to end here, you can check out this other time lapse of three Western portraits that I did. Before you go, please make sure to let me know which of these three paintings is your favorite and why this really helps me to know what to create next, as I always want to keep improving. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. and. Maybe May you keep on riding on.